Good morning, Mission Control. Well, today we got a pretty active day's worth of work. I uh, got the weight belt on, the uh, support belt, I should say, today, because I got to move this entire pile of rock inside. Let's go check it out and see what we have to do. So here we are, we're on lane one, and we have beds, uh, what is this, four and five? Yeah, beds four and five that uh, we just got done building. So what we need to do, and, and putting everything, all the liner and everything in, we need to put some water in here, do a water retention test, make sure I didn't puncture the liner at all, and uh, make sure the drains and everything's sealed, which they should all be fine, hopefully. Uh, prayerfully got, please bless this. Uh, so we gotta put our ramp up and fill this thing, so that'd be about an hour's worth of work. And then we've got five to do, bed five. Hey there, K9. Then we've got the big project. All of lane three. This is the one we tore down and we're rebuilding. So all the beds, brand new beds, everything's in. The existing beds, when I say rebuilt, what I really mean is we tore it down and we redid the supports. <clears throat> and then all the beds that were here were moved over to lane four. So. Uh, we need to do a water retention test on all of these as well, so I'm going to go ahead and get started there. And uh, again, the power of YouTube is going to make it seem like uh, this whole thing is going to take maybe two videos to go through, but uh, I'll be here for quite a few hours today. So uh, I'm going to get started. Okay, so I got the water going in here. Uh, we'll see how that all goes, and I'm going to go get the ramp all set up, and we'll get started. Woo! It's going to be a long day. Remember that scene in Jurassic Park where uh, the T-Rex is coming for the first time, the kid's stuck in the car, and he sees the water do the little boom, boom. Every time the step is taken, watch this. T-Rex coming. A T-Rex on Mars? That would freak me out. Anyway, water retention's looking good. I got just two more beds to fill with water and then we're gonna get started on rock. One of a lot. Well, we just hit the halfway point. I got the first three beds uh, filled. I had to kind of move back and forth here a little bit. So let me show you what we got. So that's lane one. Lane one is done. Excuse me. So uh, now I just got three more beds on lane three to do. Here we are, got a ramp set up. Water, hot mama, and that bed, and then I also got bed four, I got that one filled up over there. Originally that was set up as a microgreen bed, but uh, if you've been following along or if you're new, uh, you know, we're actually raising those back up to make them all aquaponic beds again. So three more beds to go, my arms are killing me. The pile's getting smaller, and uh, we just got to finish. Which one are you going to next?
ain't much rock left. There ain't much energy left. Well, there it is. All that remains of that pile. That's a long day's worth of work. Let's go inside and check it out. So part of what we had to do is fill up uh, lane two here. Uh, it, was, it was lower down because we had the microgreens in here and we needed to get them down into where the water would be at. So we wanted to raise that back up. That's gonna stop the algae problem that we have because the water should never have to come above the rock line. And uh, when it was, that's when algae can grow. So uh, that's gonna solve that problem. And then we have lane three. You're seeing these little gash right there uh, because each one of the beds had to donate one scoop of the bucket uh, to get the last bed just to get enough rock in it. Uh, that's because of the rock getting spread all over the place, of course, when it was out uh, and you lose rock because you, you can't get it all up and it's not really worth my time to go suck it all up. So here's lane three. Actually, let's walk over here. You get lane three and lane four. So, a very hard day's worth of work, but it's done. And with this, actually, the heaviest lifting of the year is now complete. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, we have some some more work. We got to get the uh, piping installed for the aquaponics, and we have to get the new automation installed for the aquaponics. And I'm thinking of going just to a single lane control, uh, as compared to what I did before, where every bed was controlled individually. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, I got some microgreen processing stuff that Mrs. Martian wants me to get taken care of and fixed. Some defects in that, so we'll do some videos on that so you can see what we're talking about. Learn from our mistakes. And boy, after that, it's on to insulation. And uh, I can tell you right now what I'm considering the, the leading candidate for insulation is double layer plastic inflated. So it's all about how to install it and actually make it all work. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, so. Uh, that's kind of what we're thinking if you want to get your mind in that space and think ahead and get ahead of me that would be awesome probably about a week away from really getting serious about that uh, Wow and then after insulation it's uh, heating and then the microgreen shelving shows up we have lights and watering to do some more automation November 11th is coming but I think we're looking pretty good right now what do you guys think thanks for following along Really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like. You'll get notified when we put up new videos. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is a real Martian. I'm ready to collapse. Out.